Hi everyone, it's James here from Production Expert. Now recently the good folks at Antelope Audio sent me this baby. This is the new Orion 32 Plus. As you would expect from one of my videos, I've been using it to track a band. Well, what else would I be using it for? Um, you may recognize the guitar player as our very own Paul Drew. This is my new band, The Studio Rats. It's a really cool song. However, we'll have a quick look around this thing. I'll tell you a bit more about it and then I promise we'll get back to the music. So around the front of the Orion 32 Plus Gen 3, we have the lovely red anodized power button. We have three LED indicators for the clocking source, whether we're using the internal oven clock, an external source, or Antelope's rather lovely and rather expensive 10M clock. We have the sample rate frequency up and down controls. To be honest, not really used these ever because it's normally controlled from the DAW front end. We then have our two 16 or 32 track uh, input or output, or quite frankly, they can monitor whatever you like, graph meters, the Antelope audio button, and our five memory recall buttons. Around the back, this thing isn't called the 32 for nothing. We have 32 channels of analog I.O. over D-sub, 16 channels of ADA optical, MADI I.O., connectivity to your Mac or PC via USB or Thunderbolt, monitor outputs, SPDIF, work clock in and out, 10M in and word clock in, and of course the kettle plug, meaning that this thing has an internal power supply. I like that. One of the things I love about the entire Antelope range of interfaces is their amazing control panel. You can route pretty much anything to anywhere else in triplicate. Certainly for my workflow, that is incredibly useful. Next to the routing page, we have the main mixer, effects. I'm not using any of the effects right now, but we have lots to choose from. Equalizers, gates, compressors, vintage EQs, vintage compressors. These are all part of an expansion pack these days. I'm not sure that Antelope are entirely sure where they're going yet with telling people that it's free a couple of years ago and now charging people for expansion packs. I'm a little bit confused by that, but hey, I'm sure they will sort it out. One of the things I really like about the PC driver in particular is that it allows you to change the buffer size from within the Pro Tools. You're not forced to do this from within the control panel. You can actually do it from within your host DAW. Latency wise, uh, there isn't any. I really can't hear anything when you're running down to 128 samples or below in Pro Tools. Um, it is exceptional what people are doing now with their Thunderbolt drivers. So for my full thoughts and conclusions on the Antelope Orion 32 Plus, please do remember to head over to the main production expert page. So onto the track, there's always a track, It's the Law. This one, as I said, is by uh, a new band that I've joined called The Studio Rats. Say so you might recognize a guitar player. Uh, it's called What If The World Didn't Turn. It's gonna be released very soon. I hope you enjoy it. But for now, my name's James Ivy, and I'll see you again very soon for some more Gear Talk. Will they forgive us for the mess we